My name is Justin, and this is Ryan, and he's my right-hand man, and my sidekick. And we're in a band together. Not that kind of band! The kind of band that has performed thousands of shows all over the world, including 3,000 shows on the Las Vegas Strip. Not that kind of Vegas, this kind of Vegas. Now we turn our attention to doing good in the world, spreading our love, and inspiring others. So, welcome. Welcome. To our world of chaos and kindness. You were late. Sorry. Welcome to a very special episode of Chaos and Kindness. For the longest time, we've done episodes about other people and making a difference in their lives. And today, we talk about one of our own, our fellow bandmate, Tony. Tony, several months ago, broke his femur in a really bad water accident. His road to recovery has been nothing short of remarkable. And today, we share his story, his pain, his anguish, his shortcomings, and his victories with you. So sit back, relax, and here's the story of an amazing man. Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. Mm. Anything you wanna to say to people? This ain't the end. We coming back. Hey, what's up? I'm Tony Zane, uh, originally from Chicago, Illinois. I started roller skating when I was about eight years old. I watched break dancing and I watched people skating and I was like, let's combine the two. It was already a sport that was being done, but where I was from, there weren't many jam skaters, so I decided to pick up the sport and uh, just roll with it. Believe it or not, I was on the same season as Recycle Percussion on AGT, and that's when I first learned about Recycle Percussion. About 10 years later, I met them in China and we immediately became friends. We brought Tony on board because we thought he could bring a different element to our show, and he's unbelievably talented. He's got such a great, strong stage presence. He's a total professional, and people love him. So we had a huge summer tour planned. We brought Tony out from the West Coast, and that's where it all began. So the summer of 2019 was coming up, and I was super pumped to go on tour again with Recycle Percussion. Um, they just got a new lake house, you know, we were gonna be surfing, having fun in the sun while doing shows, I mean, that just sounds amazing to me, so I couldn't wait to get out there. It was a beautiful day out on the lake. We went out. Uh, we had a group, I think it was about 12 people, actually, on the boat. We were all taking runs on the tube, having a good time on the boat, you know, listening to music, dancing, laughing, having fun like we always do. Yeah, it was a great day. So after a long day of surfing and tubing, everyone was pretty much over it, winding down, but I decided to go on one more run. Uh, everything was going good, and in a second, it just happened so fast, you know, the accident. And there's no going back after that, you know, it, it happened. And my mind immediately turned to panic mode. My mind was racing, thinking of the future, thinking of things that just was out of my control at the time. I was in the ambulance and I was just trying to keep calm, you know, as calm as I could. This guy was doing some extreme water sports today and, and broke his leg. Yeah, did something. Luckily I had Justin there with me to, you know, calm me down a little bit, which kind of made me act stronger than I probably would have. But I was in severe pain. The meds weren't really doing anything that they gave to me at the time because, like I said, I was just in shock and feeling all of it at once. Once we arrived at the hospital, you could tell that this wasn't a normal leg break. This was something much more severe and was gonna require a lot more of attention. And that concerned me, because now we're talking about what can Tony do to get through this mentally? We were just worried about Tony because he doesn't mentally deal with this stuff very well. And uh, this was not a normal leg break. This is a very complicated one. Surgery was something he was not a big fan of, um, let alone having two surgeries or three surgeries. 
I broke my femur, which is the biggest bone in your body, the strongest bone in your body. Uh, luckily, I did have a clean break with a little bit of a sliver. Things were racing through my mind. Um, did I have the money to pay for this? Do, how was my insurance gonna cover it? Will I skate again? I didn't know. I broke the biggest bone in my body and skating and dancing is my life. That's my livelihood. That's how you know I make a living. And that, that's everything to me. So it was a huge deal. When we first got to the hospital, he wanted to talk to his mom. Well, his mom was hysterical and I grabbed the phone and I left the room and she told me that Tony has gone through some situations much like this and when he has, it's been really difficult for him mentally and it was important that we keep an eye on him. The first day in the hospital, I found out that I would need to get surgery. They would need to put a metal rod in my leg and that immediately scared me because I knew how much time it would take to recover, you know? Like I said, I was, I was thinking of the future when I should have just been thinking of the moment I was in. Every scenario I drew through my head just turned out negative. I was going through this thing in my mind that made me feel I was alone. Everyone would tell me scenarios about other people and their injuries and how their outcomes went, but I was going through this at the time. No one else, no one knew my pain, no one knew my thought process, and it was, it was really hard. I've had a couple injuries before, but this one was most serious by far. So I really thought I would never skate again, let alone perform. Coming up after the break. Being in the hospital is the hardest part of this whole thing, I'd say. And I just felt really distant from the outside world being in the hospital for that long. Let's go! Woo! Come on, man, you can do it! Come on! Every step! I broke my femur, which is the biggest bone in your body. They would need to put a metal rod in my leg and that immediately scared me. My legs are my everything. That's, that's how I dance, that's how I skate. It's my livelihood. I make money that way, I survive that way. Everything was in jeopardy because of this accident and mentally, it really messed me up. Ah, dude, you gotta be, you gotta be <laughs> careful. I'm gonna let you guys have fun. Let me All know right. if you need it. Something that I like to do is just try to lighten the mood a little bit, bring some humor to situations that otherwise wouldn't have it. And when they came in and said they were gonna offer Tony a bath, I thought, maybe I'm perfect for that job. All right. Oh my gosh. What? She said your whole body, dude. Anytime your friend has to get up close and personal with you like that, it makes you a little uncomfortable, you know? I got you. Every, every step of the way. Yeah, it's crazy. Does that hurt? A little bit. That? I mean, not too bad, but... It was absolutely incredible how swollen Tony's leg was. It was twice the size as I remember it, just full of blood, and it was just like hard as a rock. So a day had went by after my first surgery. A lot of pain and a lot of meds that made me feel like I wasn't myself. That was also the day they tried to get me out of bed for the first time and I realized how serious and how long it would actually take to get back from this accident. You feel like that? Barely, I mean it's tingling. Mm -hmm. I'll help you move this leg. Yeah, we gotta get this we gotta get this like inside the wall. You got it, TZ. Okay, we'd like you to push one hand from the bed if you can. Day eight, Still day eight, day eight, I think. Surgery number three, hopefully the last surgery. So, uh, feeling good about this one. Let's get it, do this. Being in the hospital is the hardest part of this whole thing, I'd say. 
the first thing that I want to do when I get out of here is probably like go get Cold Stone with Ryan or something. <laughs> um, I think it would be pretty cool to uh, actually go check out the boat and stuff. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. After Tony's third and thankfully final surgery, you could see a little bit of spark that there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Be all fixed up. You going Swing on? Up. Mm -hmm. Good news though. So I'm so happy right now. I just woke up after surgery. What do I got? Reese's Blizzard from Ryan. What a man. This is where it's at. He happy. So now that all the surgeries were done, it was a total relief on my mind. Obviously, physically, I was still in pain and I couldn't move, still taking the medicine and all that, but it felt good to at least have that part done. And now all I had to think about was recovery. So I can get some help with this leg. Might want to lift it up. Yep. This is the world. This is what it looks like. I just felt really distant from the outside world being in the hospital for that long. Just to breathe fresh air, get out of the bed, feel the sun on my skin, it really felt good. Oh, okay. Feels good out. <laughs> Feels Pretty good to be out here. So long. I just want to live normal again. Coming up after the break. It felt good to start, you know, actually seeing progression day by day. All my stuff's packed up. Now, the only thing left to do was to get back on stage. I broke my femur, which is the biggest bone in your body. They would need to put a metal rod in my leg, and that immediately scared me. My legs are my everything. That's, that's how I dance, that's how I skate. Everything was in jeopardy because of this accident, and mentally, it really messed me up. So now that all the surgeries were done, it was a total relief on my mind. Obviously, physically, I was still in pain, and I couldn't move, still taking the medicine and all that, but it felt good to at least have that part done. And now all I had to think about was recovery. <clears throat> oh. What's going on, TZ? I used to be able to do shoulders like it was nothing. Trying to just lift a little weight, get my muscles activated right now. It felt good to start, you know, actually seeing progression day by day. I was also taking it day by day, you know. Unlike before when I was hurt and just thinking of the far future, now I could really bear down and start training a little bit. So from lifting light weights to getting out of the bed for the first time, um, it, it felt good to start you know, actually seeing progression day by day. First time getting out of bed on my own. Let's go. Start learning how to walk again. Let's go! Woo! Come on, man, you can do it! Come on! Every step! Every push, this is the way back. Come on, I'm your number one fan. They may not be skates, but I still got some wheels under me. I'm gonna call a nurse in here right now to help me out with my shoes and my socks. Getting out of the wheelchair was a big thing for me. I wanted to start walking at least with crutches. You know, walking a little bit, put weight on my leg. It was very painful, but it was something I would have to endure just to get to where I wanted to be. Just go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Dude, I'm walking. It was definitely a big learning process mentally. Literally, those are the first steps to recovery. So it's day 19 since the day of the accident. Um, today I'll be just discharged from the rehab center. Put my shoes and my socks on with no help. So all these tools on the ground, I'll be leaving here 
I used to pick my foot up with that, put my socks on with that, put my shoes on with that one back there. Um, they'll be staying here. I don't need them anymore, so that's awesome. All my stuff's packed up. Got my crutches. Um, yeah, sun is shining. It's gonna be a good day. Ready to just get back out there in the real life and, and keep pushing. So, uh, yeah, let's go. So after being in the hospital for two weeks and then therapy for another week, it felt amazing just to be out on my own again. It felt like I had my freedom back. I got to eat what I wanted to eat. I got to be on my own schedule again, and it felt amazing. I even climbed a ladder. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Oh, he's swimming again. We in here. Let's go. We ain't letting nothing hold us back. Woo! The feeling of getting in the lake again after the accident is indescribable. I was just overwhelmed with a bunch of emotion. Just crazy. Even though I had so long to go for my full recovery, what I already accomplished meant a lot to me. And I honestly couldn't do it without the people that were around me day by day. Let's go, my man. Jay looked at me and said, Tony, I got you. Um, he never left my side day and night. For the first two weeks in the hospital, he just stayed with me, kept me company, kept me laughing, kept my mind off of where it could have went. Back surfing, surfing Thursday, he said. <laughs> Let's go. He even missed the Emmys for me to be there. Uh, Justin can't be with me today. Uh, it feels a little awkward being here without him. He's actually. Uh, at the hospital right now with our bandmate. I would like to, on three, let's all say get well Tony, because I know he's watching this. One, two, three. Get well Tony! Thank you, he'll appreciate that. The feeling that I got from seeing that is also indescribable. I don't, I, don't know how, I don't know how I could ever thank him enough for that. It just felt so good to know that I had someone there as a friend, you know, that cared that much. When I didn't think I was ready for something, they helped me believe in myself, helped me believe that I was ready for that next step. It's been six weeks since surgery. We're gonna try to surf. Get that balance, just like with the rope, if you don't like it, just fade out in the water, you say? Right. Yeah, baby. continued to inspire me and and keep me going. Now, the only thing left to do was to get back on stage and that had me nervous. Tony, several months ago, broke his femur in a really bad water accident. The most important thing for Tony, not only for him physically, but more emotionally, was taking that stage again. With one of the biggest shows in band history about to unfold, Tony only had about 12 weeks to prepare and get ready. This was something that he needed deep inside himself. And to see Tony take that stage again was gonna be a big step for him in the road to recovery. Crutches, it's the best case scenario. But I love it, I'm glad I'm here, baby. Let's go. This was gonna be my first performance. There's 60,000 people in the crowd, and I just had to throw the crutches to the side, go up there and celebrate 
my recovery, you know, celebrate this one with the guys and enjoy the moment. To me, Tony's much more than a bandmate. He's a best friend. He's somebody I care deeply about. I have so much love and admiration for, and now I have even a deeper appreciation for this kid's resilience. If there's one thing you can learn from today's episode, is anybody out there who's overcoming some adversity, even in your darkest times, your darkest moments, there always are blue skies beyond the gray skies. So Tony, this one's for you, buddy. Amazing job, and you're an incredible human being. And remember, in a world full of chaos, it's important that each and every one of us continues to show our kindness.